Hello and thank you for tuning in to the final farming forecast of 2021. Well, over the last week or so, it's been pretty settled. Many places have seen scenes like this with plenty of sunshine. Other places have been much more on the cloudy side with lingering mist and fog, which has affected more places than not really. Most places have seen more conditions on the cloudier side, but there have been some sunny breaks. The one thing that has tied most places in common, at least away from northwestern Scotland, is that it's been pretty dry. You can see here the rainfall accumulations over the last seven days or so and a few bits and pieces of drizzle from that thicker cloud uh, being caught here but generally dry for England, Wales, southeastern and eastern Scotland, Ireland but plenty of rainfall for the northwest with uh, some fronts coming in there. It is going to turn more and settle though over the next few days and into the weekend. So this is the jet stream. Pretty quiet today um, and over the past couple of days with that ridge of high pressure over the UK. But as we go later on into this week, this area of jet stream is going to push eastwards. We're going to see some areas of low pressure push rain, perhaps some snow, some blustery winds in places across the UK. There's going to be some quite cold air feeding in from the north. Um, some quite mild air to the south of this and uh, places in between those two air masses could see some snow over the high ground at some points um, and you can see by the end of the week that jet stream is a bit more to the south and we're kind of more into the cooler air coming in from the north behind that. So looking at that in a little bit more detail this is Tuesday generally it was dry under a broad ridge of high pressure um, and overnight Tuesday and into tomorrow morning, we're going to see a pretty widespread sharp frost with relatively clear skies, some areas of cloud, but where the skies do clear, it'll be pretty cold. And so seeing a fairly widespread frost to start the day on Wednesday. We do see then this area of broad area of low pressure pushing through. That's going to push some rain, which may turn to snow, perhaps some freezing rain over the highlands, followed by another front, which then pushes through into Thursday. So a fairly unsettled couple of days. Most of the rain is going to be in the north and west. Southern parts might see some patchy rain, but generally amounts will be that bit smaller, perhaps only a couple of mil or so uh, for some parts of eastern England. It will turn a fair bit milder behind this front. So like I mentioned, Wednesday night, uh, Wednesday morning is going to start uh, with a fairly widespread frost. Wednesday daytime, it's going to be fairly chilly still, but as we go overnight into Thursday um, and through Thursday itself, that's when the milder air is going to come in. So potentially highs of 10 to 12 degrees in the south, um, a little bit colder further north, but we will see some milder air push in as these fronts come through. Now, a little bit further ahead into Friday, we've still got this broad area of low pressure. At this point, struggling to push through. It's pushing its bands of rain through, but the actual centre of the low is still out here to the, uh, to the southwest. Uh, now, as we go through Friday, that's going to continue to push eastwards. Um, the low itself moving more towards Ireland, pushing bands of rain northwards, um, but then becoming more centred to the south. You can see this area of high pressure building in from the north, perhaps bringing some drier weather to northern Britain by the end of the week and into the weekend, whereas broad area of low pressure to the south. So this is Christmas Day on Saturday and Christmas Eve, Christmas Day could be pretty wet and Boxing Day as well. Uh, plenty of rain for southern parts of the UK. Probably drier further north, some brighter spells as well. Still a few wintry showers could come uh, through from the north or northeast, but generally it will be dry and cold to the north of this area of low pressure. Milder to the south, but pretty wet. Um, and where those two boundaries meet, where the cold air to the north meets that milder air to the south, there's potential for a little bit of sleet or snow in places, particularly across parts of perhaps the Pennines, parts of the Peak District, parts of North Wales is where it's most likely of seeing a little bit of winteriness. But a, a lot of uncertainty really is to that boundary and, and to whereabouts that might be and how wintry any rain might turn. But there is potential on Christmas Day for some places to see a little bit of sleet or snow. Now, as we go into the second half of the weekend and to the early part of next week, this low pressure is going to continue to hang around to the south. It's going to slowly move away down here, but still bring areas of rain um, and perhaps some sleet or snow as well into the early part of next week as this high pushes southwards and we see colder air extend a little bit more widely. So wherever that cold air meets the, the low pressure, there's potential for some sleet and snow um, on, on that leading edge. Uh, so the best way of staying on top of what's happening with the weather where you are right now is to check out WQ Radar. You can see five minute rainfall radar as well as the precipitation types. So you can see whether it's falling as rain, sleet, snow, freezing rain, um, hail. You can also see all the latest observations from the Met Office surface uh, weather station network um, and you can currently get that um, at a discount with using the discount code SANTA. So check out wqradar.co.uk and you can find all the details and how to sign up there. 
So looking a little bit further ahead into next week, this is an ensemble forecast for both temperature and pressure uh, for Oxford, but broadly representing southern and central England uh, roughly as a whole through this period. So what we can see is uh, currently through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're high pressure dominated, generally dry in the south, uh, quite cold, like I mentioned, a pretty sharp frost to start the day on Wednesday morning. But as we go further on in the week, like we just mentioned, a drop in pressure as those low pressure systems come through. We do see this incursion of milder air at times into parts of southern Britain. Uh, so that's kind of backing up what we've seen there, turning more unsettled, a reduction in pressure and turning milder as well into the weekend. Now, like I mentioned, that area of low pressure is going to hang around into the early part of next week. There's a little bit more uncertainty. You can see a bit more of a, a spread in the pressure ensembles, but generally low pressure dominating through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, perhaps into parts of Wednesday as well. Um, and with that, like I mentioned, as that low pressure sinks south, that's going to allow some colder air to come in from the north. Um, again, a lot of uncertainty as to the exact timings of when we see the introduction of colder air or whether low pressure hanging on might just continue to bring some slightly milder air. But most of the ensemble is going for reduction in pressure there. So staying unsettled in the south, but becoming colder as well. And, and anywhere where that rain meets the colder air potentially could see some sleet or snow. So perhaps as that low pressure moves south, parts of the Midlands over the high ground, perhaps into parts of southern England could see a little bit of sleet or snow. Um, although I imagine further south, most of that will turn to rain. So the best bet is over the higher ground, um, the further north you are. Now, the main uncertainty comes in into the middle part of next week as to whether we see high pressure begin to build again or whether further areas of low pressure move in off the Atlantic. And you can see that there in the spread in both the pressure and the temperature. So just picking out a couple of examples here. For example, this model here, a bit of an outlier, but it is going for more unsettled weather, uh, lower do dominated, dominated by lower pressure into the end of next week. And that would generally be associated with a milder feel. So as that low pressure comes through, it would bring milder air in from the Atlantic. So you can see a few of these model runs here going for milder weather. More of them tending to go for a slight increase in pressure as we go through the week, but a lot of spread. Um, and potentially some colder conditions associated with that low pressure, as it will be a little bit of a battleground between low pressure coming in from the southwest with milder air, or whether we see high pressure ridging in from the north, bringing some colder air, um, and tricky to know where exactly that boundary will be and how far inland across the UK these areas of low pressure push. So a lot of uncertainty through this period regarding both the pressure pattern and the associated temperature. And you can just see an example of that here from one of the operational couple of the operational models that we use. So the one on the left here, that's generally going for more high pressure dominated conditions at first, at least this is for Wednesday. You can see still quite a few wintry showers around. It's going to be pretty cold in this situation. So any, any rainfall that does affect might turn to sleet or snow in places, but you can see uh, pretty chilly conditions generally settled. There is this front here out to the southwest, which has got some associated milder air with it, but you can see it's well out to the southwest and not really affecting the UK at that point. Now taking for example this model which is much more progressive at pushing that area of low pressure through, got pretty widespread rain turning to snow where that moves across some cold air uh, across the highlands and then you've got this warm front in here and behind that a lot of milder air um, across Ireland, Wales, southern England. So don't take the the specifics of this too literally, this is going to vary from model run to model run as to the timings of this, the track of it, whether it pushes in at all. Um, but it just does emphasize that, you know, if you're looking at an app forecast and it might vary from day to day quite wildly with temperatures, depending on how these low pressure systems and the temperatures are going to change and interact with each other. So a lot of uncertainty from midweek regarding how keen areas of low pressure, so to speak, are to come across the UK or whether we're going to stay in a colder, slightly drier picture. So broadly looking at next week as a whole, like I mentioned, a lot of uncertainty for the second half of the week, but this is more representative, I think, of the first half of the week. We've got low pressure down to the south, like we talked about earlier, moving away to the south. Potentially, you know, we could see more areas of low pressure moving in, and that's not inconsistent with this picture here. Um, but then we have got more high pressure to the north, which could ridge down a bit further south at times, depending on those areas of low pressure. Uh, so generally fairly wet for many places, you know, with all this rain over the next few days and into the weekend and the early part of next week, it is going to be quite wet. This is the uh, rainfall totals uh, anomaly for, for next week. Like I mentioned, if, if high pressure builds, it might not be quite as wet as that. This is generally a bit more of a progressive story uh, with those areas of low pressure. So perhaps not as wet as that, but 
it's it is a possibility if if we do see more areas of low pressure come through and then with the temperatures there's going to be a big north south split at least initially with milder air to the south um colder air to the north uh, like i mentioned i think as we go into next week it is looking more likely that we will see uh, perhaps colder temperatures take hold a little bit more that was the slightly stronger signal for the colder temperatures through next week but there's a fairly good north south split across most of europe with with mild air to the south of the jet stream and some pretty cold air especially across scandinavia um, to the north of the jet stream uh, so just going back to this graph quickly just to look at the the following week and basically just to point out you can see the huge amount of uncertainty that continues into the first week of january uh, the week beginning the third um, and you can see the pressure, a massive spread in pressure, and again, a massive spread in temperature. And, and generally, the idea is that it's going to continue. There's going to be this boundary somewhere of cold air to the north, mild air potentially trying to push into the south associated with areas of low pressure. So the, the, the model runs that are going with lower pressure are likely going to bring some milder air. The model runs that are going with more a high pressure story are likely to be that bit colder. And, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty at the minute as to which way that's going to go. The UK is going to be in kind of battleground between uh, that milder air and, and colder air. And anywhere where those two air masses meet, uh, any precipitation could fall as sleet or snow, particularly over the high ground. That's always, you know, that bit more likely, um, but very tricky to say whereabouts that might be, if at all. Um, so a huge amount of uncertainty as we go into the early part of the uh, new year as to which air masses are going to affect the UK. And uh, just to emphasize that point a little bit more, this is the uh, pressure anomaly for that week. And you can see low pressure here trying to push in from the southwest. We've got broadly high pressure to the north trying to push colder air in uh, with a northerly flow. So a, a real kind of battleground in here somewhere as to how far north that mild air pushes or how far south that cold air pushes. So a huge amount of uncertainty as we go into the new year. But in the short term, I think it looks pretty set on that it's going to be unsettled this week. Some milder air in the south. Further north, though, it is going to be a fair bit colder um, and a little bit more settled. And there is going to be the risk of sleet or snow where those two air masses meet. And potentially on Christmas Day, you know, we could see a white Christmas in a few spots. But the further south you are, it looks like there will be, you know, quite a lot of heavy rain um, on Christmas Day in particularly perhaps southern England. So next week it's going to be cold at first as that low pressure slowly pulls away allowing cold air to feed in uh, from the north and then a lot of uncertainty regarding areas of low pressure for the rest of that week and indeed the following week um, as to how far inland across the UK those push um, and whether they bring their mild air with them. So a lot of uncertainty as we go into January and then there is a little bit more of a signal of a hint of return to milder air a little bit later on in January. Um, but uh, you know, between now and then, there's a huge amount of uncertainty as to how that all pans out. So thanks for watching this week's video. As ever, you can keep up to date with our day-to-day -day, uh, forecast for East Anglia and the British Isles on social media. Remember, we haven't got a farming forecast next week, but we'll be back in the new year. So happy Christmas and thanks for watching.